Lakes, one of the most popular swimming spots in Central Texas, is still off limits. Today was supposed to be opening day for swimmers at Jacob, Jacob's Well in Hayes County, but the drought dried up those plans. KVU's Matt Fernandez tells us how long it could take for conditions to improve. In Hayes County, it's a real gem. Crystal clear water at this natural wonder, Jacob's Well. Below the surface, there are swimmers in this beauty, but unfortunately, they're the only ones swimming because at the surface at Cypress Creek, there's not enough water. Water level should be a couple feet higher. We might even be about waist deep standing here in the water right now. May 1st is usually the opening day for swimming. The parking lots wouldn't be this empty. This time of year, around 200 people are usually swimming throughout the day. People come from all over. And Captain Sturdivant, the park's education years, coordinator for Hayes County, six. says Jacob's Well is not open for swimming because of the low water levels, caused by two main reasons, one because of the drought, and the other is groundwater pumping. Many, many more people have found themselves in Central Texas. It's a gorgeous place to be, but that has put stress on that groundwater resource. The park does remain open for hiking and nature's beauty, but people like Sonny Lee from Boston were hoping to take a dip thought that we were going to be the first in. Lee enjoys traveling around the country and checking out natural resources. And there's nothing. It's very dry. Just the well with a little bit of fish. And it's beautiful, but it's sad that there's no water. Sturdivant says we need significant rainfall, slow and steady, for the well to open for swimming, especially in the Trinity Aquifer. So rain falling to the west of us goes down into the Trinity Aquifer system. It recharges that aquifer, and that is where this water is coming from. Something that Sturdivant says is not going to happen right away, but she's hoping for the kind of rainfall that will bring swimmers back. In Hayes County, Matt Fernandez, KVU News.